Hi there, Stanton here from Algo Trading. Today I'm introducing to you the Bollinger Scalper. The Bollinger Scalper is made up of two moving averages, stochastics indicator and the Bollinger Bands. So let's take a look at the input parameters. So as you can see we have a slow moving average, a fast moving average, stochastic settings and then Bollinger Band settings. We also have our usual money management trading times input parameters. Okay, so let's look at a cell entry. So a cell position is entered into when the fast moving average is below the slow, slow moving average. Two candles back is above the Bollinger upper band and the previous candle is below the upper band and the stochastics is above the upper level and then the stochastics for the previous candle is below the upper level meaning that it crossed over the level and the buy position is the opposite of that we've got a fast moving average is greater than the slow moving average two candle back is below the lower band one candle back is above the lower band meaning it crossed over the band and the stochastics crossed over the lower level. Okay, so we're going to put a breakpoint in and we're going to debug it to show the the trade. So if you look at the input parameters, I've just set it to the default parameters on the 5 minute chart for the Euro USD for the period 2018-01-01 to today. So you can see there a buy signal has been triggered. Let's slow this down. We run it again. So you can see there the 50 day moving average is above the 200 day moving average and we had a crossover of the Bollinger Band, the lower band and the stochastic crossed over the lower level. So we're just going to run this, wait for our next entry. There we've got a sell signal. Slow it down. Just click run. And you can see the 50 day moving average is below the 200 day moving average. We had a break, break down through the upper band and the stochastics crossed over the upper level, which is 80 and 20 in this case. I'm just going to speed it up and we can watch this trade. And you can see the stop pass was followed as soon as it gets to, I think it's about 70 pips. There we go, the stop loss followed it. And we take profit. Okay, so that's essentially how the strategy works. What we're going to do, run, we're going to run a quick back test. I'm going to stop the debugger. and we're running it default settings the euro usd m5 every tick and we could start and take off the visualization mode we could just look at the graph So it is a scalping strategy, so I'd recommend keeping your take profits and your stop loss extremely tight. As you can see, there's no major drawdowns. It's a bit up and down in the beginning, but it starts to gain momentum as we go along. Okay, so we're reaching the 200% mark after one year.
Okay, and this is standard optimizations. I haven't done anything really crazy with the optimizations. I've got a standard 50 day moving average and 200 day moving average. And I've set the stochastic and the Bollinger Bands averaging period to be the same. So this probably could be optimized to be a lot more profitable. But just with the default settings and standard optimization, it still is fairly profitable. Okay, we reached a 300% mark. Coming towards the end now. And there we have it. So our net profit was 83,000 on a 10,000 initial deposit. So that's 800% over two years. Drawdown is fairly large, 35 and 36%. As you can see, I've got my, um, my risk at 10% risk, but it is a scalping strategy. So you should have quite a high risk level. If you want to have more um, safer strategy, you could change this to 3 or 5%. Okay, well, well that's the Bollinger Band Sculper. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like my videos. Um, all of the algos are available for purchase on my store. You can access the store by clicking the link in the top of the YouTube channel or going to algotrading.co.za forward slash shop. Thanks again and goodbye.